Fresh tensions are starting to flare up between China and the U.S., this time over Hong Kong. China's foreign ministry claims the increasingly intense protests in the city are a, quote, U.S. production. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Hong Yu. So give us some of the context behind why exactly China would make such an accusation seemingly out of the blue. Well, Mark, it was likely in response to comments by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in support of the pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong. On Monday, Pompeo urged Beijing to do the right thing in managing the protests. In its response Tuesday, China's foreign ministry urged the U.S. to stop playing a dangerous game of pulling chestnuts out of the fire, adding the protests against the now-suspended extradition bill are a U.S. production. From recent videos continuously released by the press, we can see many Americans and even the U.S. national flag in the violent protests in Hong Kong. So everyone wants to know what role on earth the United States is playing in the recent situation in Hong Kong. I think the United States owes the world an explanation on this question. The protests in Hong Kong are not just limited to the weekends anymore. They're taking place in small blocks around Hong Kong during the rest of the week as well, although they are smaller in scale. During Tuesday morning rush hour, hundreds of activists blocked subway doors and sounded emergency alarms in a bid to make the authorities understand they are serious in their call for democratic reform.